This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Wednesday, March the 27th, 2019. It's the feast day of St. John of Damascus. Yes, that Damascus in modern-day Syria. He was born there about 675 A.D. and was immediately recognized as a genius. He read and wrote real contributions to the study of law, theology, philosophy, and music, and may have even been a major player in the Muslim governmental structure before his ordination to the priesthood around 706 A.D. when he was about 30 years old. He is considered a doctor of the church for his spiritual writings, especially his extensive work on the Blessed Virgin Mary. He wrote a lot on the Assumption of Our Lady in the early 700s. And so if someone comes to you and says, well, Catholics invented the Assumption later on, you can encourage them to read St. John Damascene on the matter. He died in 749 AD and was almost immediately recognized as a saint. Strangely, he wasn't named a doctor of the church or even placed on the universal liturgical calendar until the 1890s, which is odd considering how many other saints and spiritual masters quote him and reference his work. At any rate, he is the patron of pharmacists and icon writers. So if that's you, happy feast day. Today is the birthday of St. Francesco di Paolo a.k.a. St. Francis the Fire Handler. How's that for a metal name? He was born in Paola, Italy, down in the southern province of Calabria in 1416. When he was very young, he got sick with a swelling near his eyes, and his parents prayed to St. Francis for healing. There was a somewhat common practice in the region that if St. Francis would heal a child, that child would spend a year wearing the little habit Quote unquote. And that meant that the child would basically stay in a boarding school and live a religious life for a year. Francesco did recover, and when he was 13, his parents sent him to the local monastery to fulfill their vow. At the end of the year, the whole family went on pilgrimage to Assisi and to Rome. And when they got back, Francesco felt a very strong call to the hermetical life. And so he set up shop in a small, secluded cave and lived a quiet life of prayer and solitude. As sometimes happens with saints, other people started dropping by for a visit, and so Francesco relocated to a more secluded spot. But it was no good. People kept finding him. And so he split his cave into a chapel and a few small rooms, and the Order of the Hermits of St. Francis of Assisi was born. They're called the Menem Friars for short. Within 20 years, all of the local caves were overbooked, and Francesco gave in and built a traditional monastery and a church. And while the order was still about living the life of the hermit, everyone from the local baker to the king of Naples kept dropping in for a visit with the wise old monk. Francesco was deliberate in his prayer and his fasting, and he had a remarkable habit of making off-the-cuff remarks about events that hadn't yet happened. He died in 1507 in France and was buried there. And in 1562, a group of Huguenot Protestants opened the grave and found his body incorrupt. They dragged it out, burned the body, and scattered the bones. But the Catholics and non-Catholics alike were scandalized, and they collected the bones and sent them along to Calabria, to the mother house of the order. Finally, today is International Whiskey Day, begun in 2008 in honor of Michael Jackson. No, not that Michael Jackson. This Michael Jackson is a British author who has written several excellent books on whiskey. Now, we have to make sure we get our spelling right. Whiskey spelled with an E, W-H-I-S-K-E-Y, is the Irish spelling, which is used in Ireland, the U.S., and Japan. Whiskey without the E is the Scottish spelling, which is used in Scotland. Outside of Scotland, Scotch whiskey is typically called Scotch, but when I asked for a Scotch in Dunferland, they looked at me funny. All whiskey is grain alcohol aged in oak barrels, which have been charred with fire. And the contact of alcohol with the charred wood creates the distinct flavor and color that makes whiskey whiskey, whether it has an E or not. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.